Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be talking about the patch notes in the 2.45 update, but before we get into it, be sure to Shinobi Strike that like button and subscribe for more content. Alright, let's get it. Okay, so you all know that I'm not excited about the Obito DLC, but I will be giving, making some videos about that soon. But for now, let's just talk about the 2.45 update because the patch notes are a big, big W. We got a whole bunch of different uh, balances, rebalances, and range types are eaten in these patch notes. So let's look at this. Let's check this out. So first, attack type, uh, Baryon mode got a, a rebalance uh, so it says it reduces the movement speed increase while activated and it increases the attack tracking ability boost uh, effect while activated so this isn't a this is just a rebalance not a buff or a nerf uh, so that's all attack types got they didn't really touch anything else they didn't buff anything they didn't nerf anything so that's what's up and uh, then range types we got all kinds of stuff so let's let's take a look at this so super beast scroll bird added an effect that prevents hit players from locking on so there's been a few jutsu like this that that now you can't lock on when you get hit by them so that just adds to the confusion that's happening so now they can't see also they're and then also they can't lock on to people so then shirado got a buff where it decreased and then jutsu cooldown time so that's nice uh, water style severin rate we've got all kinds of changes so it increased the effective range added an effect that breaks through shield type jut ninjutsu so that's like water pillar sand shield type of stuff and then increases ninjutsu speed and decreased ninjutsu cooldown time so they must have finally realized that nobody uses that move ever it seems like they're trying to give us some more water style stuff like with the cannons and stuff so maybe we can make some more theme builds with water style stuff so that's a crucial buff Kamoi Lightning Blade got a decrease ninjutsu cooldown time. I think it used to be 18 seconds, now it's 16. And then Super Beast Imitation Drawing added the same effect as the birds. So now if you get hit by it, you can't lock on to enemies. And then Crystal Ice Mirrors actually got a rebalance. So it reduced the secret technique gauge needed for activation, but then uh, it also reduced the ninjutsu damage. So you get it more often, but it doesn't do quite as much damage. But it's got a five in duration now. So it's like one of the fastest charging ultimates in the game, which is crucial. So defense types got uh, earth style, earth pillar explosion, increased the ninjutsu damage, improved movement speed reduction effect, and reduced secret technique gauge needed for activation. So that's a big buff for that. So all those, uh, the base uh, defense moves are dope now. Uh, I remember when petrified jutsu was the best thing out of that, but now it's the worst thing out of it. So then a heal types, lava style, dissolving jutsu, got an adjustment. Uh, so it adjusted the motion that enemies take when hit by the lava, and then decreased the ninjutsu cooldown time also. So now when enemies get hit by, they get stunned long enough for you to start a combo. So that's pretty crucial. Paralysis Jutsu got a decrease in Ninjutsu cooldown time, so it's only 8 seconds now. I think it used to be like 12 or 11, uh, but this was a big reduction in the in the cooldown, so that might be a viable move now too. And then Jitto Step Twin Lion Fist adjusted the motion that enemies take when hit while in the in midair, so yeah, that's crucial too. Hinata also got like a hidden buff because now when you look at the scoreboard during a match you can see all your teammates ultimates like on that scoreboard it's so much easier to see them trying to look at their health bars but also the enemies all gauges are there but they're grayed out but when so but when you use uh, byakugan you can see it on that screen you can see the enemies old and how how charged they are so that's a that's like a hidden buff that hinata also got then we got a rebalance to ninja tools and other balance changes so general a scientific ninja tool sacred mirror drone got got nerfed which is good uh, so now the drone will disappear when hit enemies use substitution jutsu and it also increased the cooldown time so that i always thought that was crazy that the thing that the drones followed you when you subbed uh, so now they don't follow you anymore when you substitute so that's great and then the master the the cast characters all got buffed they increased their health of the master characters increased the attack of the master characters and the defense of the master characters so i guess Maybe they're trying to make them like more viable in just normal matches uh, so that people can use the master characters and not be at so much of a disadvantage versus the created characters because at this point the created characters are so much better than the masters uh, so that's this might balance them out a little bit uh, but the biggest thing in this update and like you know i love range but and like the range has a big w but this is the biggest dub here the way they change the clones so all the normal clone substitution due to like all the special ones like all the ones that you get from the regular vr masters like the ink clone or the water clone and all that 
that stuff, those got decreased so that they they went from 30 seconds to 25 seconds. So they all got the decrease in ninjutsu cooldown time, which is crucial. I've been saying that those those things needed to have a decrease in their cooldown because they they're not as good as a, a bunch of those new clones that are even that even have lower cooldowns than them. So that's the that's the best thing that they did. And then they 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 buffed the shadow clone jutsu. So now you get improved defense increase after activating the jutsu. And probably the biggest and best thing that they did was that they finally nerfed time space hop. So they reduced the invincibility period after activating the ninjutsu and they increased the ninjutsu cooldown time. Uh, so that is crucial. That's like the only sub you really see. Even I use it, but I started using it when it first came out, and I just didn't change it. And I got just been waiting for them to nerf it. I wish they would have just put it exactly back to how it used to be, but this is a welcome nerf because now this one is 30 seconds and all those other ones are only 25 seconds the thing is is like i know some people have said that this nerf is not that big a deal but it really is a big deal when you look at the grand scheme now because like it's not when stuff when something needs to be nerfed it's not that they need to nerf it into the ground so that it's useless uh what they need to do is make sure that there are more things that are viable and now when people look at what clone am i going to choose and they see that time space hop has a 30 second cooldown and that all these other ones have a 25 second it makes these all these 25 second cooldown clones more viable because now it's like well this is i have an advantage where i can i can use this sub more often even though time space hop might still be better overall uh the fact that these other ones are have a lower cooldown is it makes it more balanced i, don't, I haven't used time space hop since they nerfed it so i don't know like how different it, it is but five seconds is a big deal in this game like this is a fast game so five seconds is a huge deal actually this is like a 10 second turnaround because time space hop used to be five seconds faster than those other clones and now it's five seconds slower so it's really you could look at it as a 10 second nerf like relative to the way it used to be uh, so if it's if they change it five seconds then i think that that's a, i think that's a good idea I, I i i could see it being 35 and it's still and that would still be fair or maybe even like better but at least they nerfed it they're going in the right direction with this <laughs> now that they finally nerfed this things i'm hoping for that they change the attack type heavy so that I, I was thinking like they don't need to change it completely but just make it so that you can't sub out of the attack type heavy and uh not make it seal your your sub for a certain amount of time just make it that particular attack not subbable and and then that and then they would still have something special and it wouldn't be so broken uh, i think but uh yeah so like they they still didn't touch like obero or anything like that or shotting gun but this these patch notes are a big w though big big dub and we'll i'll have a separate video about the obito dlc and also be talking about the, the new range type uh jutsu pack that's going to be coming out because i'm not excited about that it's a attack type move <laughs> to given the range types <laughs> and then they gave uh, attack types a range dlc i don't know what they're doing with these uh with these classes anymore man but yeah as far as the patch notes go big w 2.45 update is a it's it's good i mean the, the the patch the balances are really really good it's not that much going on though there's no new maps no new game modes and i don't like the obito dlc really but but the patch notes the balance is definitely a big dub for the game uh, so yeah let me know what you guys are thinking of the new update so far but i definitely have like a lot more content coming out we'll be talking about obito we'll be talking about the new jutsu and everything like that and all the new stuff that's going to be coming out uh, in the next the next few months so be sure to like and subscribe i'll see you guys soon everybody stay safe out there peace and love